Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm going to make um, a different approach. I have this Arduino board in 3D. And I'm going to give a brief introduction on the Arduino board. First, the Arduino board is a small CPU. The main IC or the main CPU or the brain of the board is this IC. It's called 80 mega 328p. And those are the extension slots for these ICs. The extension slots we can have a look here. The ones to the right here are the input output slots. Mostly they are digital slots. And here to the left we have the analog input output slots. So you can see A0 to A5, there are six slots where you are able to enter and get outside analog signals. And if we look here, we have a button here for resetting the board. If you have installed a software or a program on the CPU and you want to restart the or reset the board you can click on that button and if we have a closer lock here we'll have these three small LEDs this is the first LED in. it's representing a LED a real LED and it can be defined on slot number 13 so this is slot number 13 where you have a LED and then you have the TX RX they are reflecting the signals coming and getting outside from the TX RTX slots. We have them here in the bottom, the last two here in the bottom. So transmitting and resetting signal or receiving transmitting signals. Then if you have a look here, we have this is the USB cable expansion slot where you are able to connect your Arduino board to the computer and install your software or programs on the CPU here. And then we have our supply slot in case you want to use your Arduino board on an external project. You have already installed the software on the CPU and taking the board to work somewhere else. So here you can connect. Uh, power supplies it can be from 5 to 9 volts so here is a brief introduction about the Arduino board so this Arduino board I draw it in 3d by software called SolidWorks